there'll be many opportunities in future to speak. So until we speak again, have uh, a good one. Well, for the market, looking pretty good, actually. 200 points almost on the Nifty now. 700 points on the Sensex. And the Bank Nifty is the one that's getting that added push up almost 1.5%. But uh, let's talk to the management of TTK Prestige. The stock has seen an 11% slip in the last one month. When we spoke to the management last, they said that they are witnessing a mild slowdown in consumer demand. To get a sense of how business is looking, we are joined by TT Jagannathan, the chairman at TTK Prestige. Uh, Mr. Jagannathan, good morning. It's not just your own industry, okay. but several consumption-related industries are facing a bit of a slowdown now. And with the monsoons, uh, you know, in all probability, going to see weakness. Uh, things could perhaps get worse before they get better. But your thoughts on how things could shape up for your own industry? I don't think you're right. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had a reasonably satisfactory year, uh, the year ending 23. The year ending 22, we had a fantastic year because everybody was shut down at home, couldn't go on holidays, couldn't go eating out. So we got a large share of the wallet. That, of course, changed in the year 20, ending 23. But it will come back in 24. I'm confident that you, you can't keep on going out and keep on having holiday. So that share of wallet will come back to uh, consumer demand. What is the uh, current uh, demand situation on the ground compared to when we spoke last? Yes. No, my question was what is the demand situation on the ground? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. It is better than what it has been last quarter, last two quarters. What about exports, Mr. Jagannathan? Uh, are they even better? Because I think last time you were on, you were saying that, you know, we got, we, uh, there's so much demand, we're not able to keep up. So what we're doing is logically diverting some of the local production to exports. Uh, could maintain, you talk to us about that? Yeah. I maintain that. Mm -hmm. It's it's equally strong. No... Uh, yes. Okay. If anything, it's getting stronger. Oh, good. So, and Mr. Jagannathan, exports is 5 or 6%, right, of your total mix? Currently, it is, yes. Okay, all right. 10% no. next year. Oh, and FY24, it goes from around 5% to around 10%. Got that. Yes. Since we're talking about FY24, what kind of a guidance are we looking at? You have hinted in the past that volume should be in mid-single digits, uh, revenue could be in double digits, and margins will be in that band of around 15 to 17%. Holding on to all those uh, three? I'm sorry, I can't give guidance. But a brief idea, sir. Double-digit revenue growth should be gettable going by the current de demand scenario? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Du Double-digit revenues and margins mid-teens is what you have said in the past. Now, input costs have cooled down even more. So, 15 yes, to 17 that percent? Is, yes, that is correct. Okay, 15 to 17 percent on margins. I want to understand a little bit about what the way forward could look like, not the here and the now, maybe over the next one to two years. What would the expansion plans be? Because I understand that you're expanding into non-South markets in a big way. Uh, would you be taking on some big CAPEX plan? What is the expansion that you're looking at over the next 12 to 18 months? We are a national player. We've not just got non to non-South now. We did that 20 years ago. Point number one. Point number two, we have invested huge amounts of money in CAPEX. So we've got enough uh, production capacity to last us for the next five years, except in exports. Mm. So for exports, what would the plan be in terms of CAPEX? We're building on it. it depends. Every day there's a new order coming in. Mm. So we have to adjust to see where we got, where we will put the CAPEX and uh, what time, what is the time frame and all that. We have not yet decided mm. that. So the reason I ask is because you have over 800 crores of cash on your books. How much of that are you looking to utilize in CAPEX, expansion? Would you use that for any other purposes? No, no, no. We are planning CAPEX for the year 24, 75 crores. And that will come out of cash generation. Mm. Mr. Jagannathan, okay. uh, you also told us uh, you are very close to an acquisition. Around 500 crores was the size. You said you'll do it this year. So maybe a little unfair on my part to ask you so soon again. But no, 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 no. It's still work in progress. But, you know, uh, Mr. Jagannathan, the reason we ask you this is, the street is saying wedding season is very, very good. But we want to see TTK Prestige, you know, celebrate the wedding in style. You said first half of the year may not be possible, but in this calendar year, it's doable, right? That inorganic growth that very you were talking about. So you are absolutely right. So in 2023, we'll see inorganic growth coming from TTK Prestige. And the ticket size could be that five to 600 crores. I'm sorry, repeat that I didn't get that. In 2023, we'll see inorganic growth, the big announcement coming about, and the ticket size could be 500 to 600 crores. Top line growth in 2023? 
No, I'm, I'm asking you the ticket size of that inorganic growth that we're talking about will be five to 600 crores. In 23, no. In 23, probably 50 crores. No, no. Uh, sir, the, the, the acquisition target is around five to 600 crores, right? That is correct. That is correct. Oh, and in 2023, it will be announced. No, 2023 is what, we've got one more day to go. No, no, not the fiscal year, sir, calendar year, <laughs> before December 2023. Okay, okay. possibly, yes. Okay. Uh, sir, I wanted to, uh, to talk a little more about your margins. You said that margins will be in the range of 15 to 17 percent. Wanted yes. to understand our export margins better than domestic and how does the breakup look? It, it, it depends customer to customer, but uh, the export margins are between 10 and 15 percent. And domestic margins? Will be between 15 and 18 percent. Okay, so if the margins in the domestic business are higher, then um, there's no real reason to focus on exports at the cost of the domestic business, right? I'm just trying to understand is, whether in the longer term it makes more sense to just keep the focus on domestic. That is correct, but uh, additional growth will come only from export. Okay. And there's money to be made. I'm not giving it away free or losing on it. There's money to be made. Sure, sure. So, on an average, what kind of export growth are we looking at? We'll double next year. Oh, okay. All right, Mr. Jagannathan, we'll leave it there. It's always a pleasure, sir. Thank you very much uh, for you. another interaction. And good luck. Thanks very much. Well, 184 points is where we are at uh, on the uh, Nifty. Uh, so things are looking good, aren't they? Uh, just look at the Nifty Bank as well, and then maybe uh, we'll uh, take that break. Nifty Bank is up about one and a third of a percent. It's come off a little bit from the high point of the day. Not so much. Uh, I mean, unlike the Nifty, which is still kind of pushing it, uh, you know, uh, almost at the high point. Defense is still the name of the game this morning. Uh, BEL, BDL, uh, Garden Reach, Cochin Shipyard. But you've got a few other names which have come back, come into the mix. KPIT Tech, if you can have that name up. It's got huge volumes. It's up about four and a third of a percent uh, gain, 934. Uh, you've got uh, the Adani names I mentioned. Adani Wilmer is the one which is there amongst the top volume uh, names this morning. Uh, VA Tech uh, Vabag is up 8%, uh, 363 on uh, that one. Jane Irrigation, big mover on Wednesday. And Nimesh had highlighted this uh, name on uh, the D Street Chatter on Wednesday. It's up another 